Okay, I must say greetings to you, greetings to you again. How are you? Hope and trust you are doing well. And sometimes when I post these videos, sometimes you know some people in good health, some people in you know sometimes you get a sad news that your brother passed away, sister has been passed away, mommy has been passed away. All sort of something may happen, but I pray God that him he will just you know keep sweet and um, just courage yourself and uplift yourself yeah um, I know sometimes certain things and um, happen to you and sometimes um, you know sometimes it can affect your mentally you know but be strong be strong um with me I got through lots of things you know lots of things I got through and um in despite of everything you know despite of everything I'm always have a smile always have something good and beautiful to say to people so sometimes when you're going through things you know um you know sometimes in what what you see happen sometimes is nature is you know it have to be happening it have to happen you may not want to happen ladies you may lose your husband very very nice husband treat you good treat you with love and respect or whatever and then um, you lose him yeah, but um, be of good courage. Be of good courage. He do, he do the best he can and everything like that. Yeah. When people do good, you know. When people do good, even if you, even if you, you know, because one day to come we're gonna pass away and go. Yeah. So when you do good and you pass away, you know, make it be a happiness because you know, say, you know, he find a place of rest. I see, I was passing on the road and I see a gentleman and he, you know, he could, he could hardly walk, he could hardly walk, you know, you know, maybe if you put him on, maybe, <laughs> maybe, one, maybe one like a snail or something like that, I want to this creature who can really go fast, maybe they want to beat him ten times, <laughs> he can't really walk, yeah, but what really come to me you now about that gentleman, me not really worried about you that you want to walk or you get whole or whatever because these are nature and these things will happen to you. But I say to myself, what you do in your young days, you may come to a time when you can't walk, you may come to a time when all sorts of little difficulty are taking you, but when you was young, when you was young, what did you do? How do you treat people? How do you treat people? That's what me concern about, you know. Me not concern how you sick. Me yes, me want to know say you have good health and whatever. But in your young days, what did you do? How do you treat your neighbor? How do you treat your friend? How do you treat people? Hmm? I may always, me always have said this, you know. Me always have said this. And that gentleman, you know, he could be one good quality man. As well as he could be a gunman, as well as he could be a murderer, as well as he he he, he could uh, do some some great evil and wickedness to people and things catch up on him now. Yeah, you understand. As well as he could be one hundred percent best good people and people mourn over him. You understand because he do his best. Yeah. When God help you, you know, when God help you, you know, sometimes as you're passing through a young stage and you're going from one stage to another and such like, and sometimes, sometimes you can do some silly things. But sometimes in your life, sometimes you have to check back in your life. Sometimes check back in your life. See how you treat your friend. See how you treat your mother. See how you treat your father. See how you treat people. And sometimes if it, if it adds up, you know, and it you know, adds up right, I'm asking you for one one thing, you know, that's the good thing about God, He always forgives. Sometimes we hold you up with death, you know. Sometimes we hold you up. But if you used to out there and you murder people, if you used to use out there and um and use a knife, use a knife and a gun and poison and mad people and do all sorts of wickedness, it's time now for you to take a stack. Take a stack of your life. Yeah? Take a stack. Cry out to God. 
talk to somebody and tell somebody, say, look here, you know, when I was young, I used to kill. I used to use a knife. I used to do poison. I used to do all of these things. And it really affecting me. It really affecting me. And I'm really sorry about this. If you know, have to come back on YouTube, come back on YouTube. Just go down by your knee and ask God to forgive you. If you know, say you're going to confess it and um, he's going to make a war against you, a war against your family. Confess it to God privately. Privately. Talk to God about it. Ask God to forgive you and pardon you for your wickedness. So, I ask you, please, me ask you again, you know, I ask you. Do all the very, very best you can in life. Yeah? And people must can talk to you. Some of you are easy to be offended. James chapter 3, he said, If any man offends not in word, his sense is a perfect and upright man. Yeah? Do not be offended. You're easy to be offended. Me not mind. You see, if a man look at me, a white man look at me, oh, he's a black man. Me glad when he say it. <laughs> me glad when he say it. Car. Hey, hey, but me not love. Me not. Me me me, me not love for no. He give me something to talk to him about. Me not offend. He's a black man. If you call, if if you look at me and call me white, huh? <laughs> Let me up there. Let me up there. <laughs> if me can't get the prick out of the wall, you know. <laughs> yes, man. You are tracing on anyone, you know. Yeah, man, car. We are calling me white for me, a black man. Come on. So, God bless you. Ladies and gentlemen, I ask you, please, do all the very, very best in life, you know. Because, I tell you something, when you do the best, you, you, you know what's happening. You live free, you know. You live free. You live happy. You live clean. Live good.